Hi guys, happy fall and spooky season. Today I wanted to share with you guys some candles that I purchased from Pixie Dust Apothecary. I am so excited to try these candles. I've seen them a couple times here and there on YouTube. So I wanted to go ahead and give them a try. What is so special about these is that they are Disney inspired candles, which I think is such a fun touch but also the inside of these candles are so beautiful and that is what drew me in. Um, but this is my box. Whoop. I purchased them off of Etsy, their Etsy shop, which I will link down below. They also have a regular website if you wanted to check them out. But like I said, it is Pixie Dust Apothecary and I'm just so excited. All the candles that I purchased are four ounce candles. They also do have, I believe it's eight ounce, and then they do have things like wax melts and everything else. But I am so excited to share with these with you guys and then give them a good old sniff and burn them and then just enjoy the Disney magic of the scent. Um, so I guess I'll go ahead and we will start with Hello Rabbit. And this one is inspired by Rabbit from Winnie the Pooh. But look how cute. I just, I'm obsessed with this. I absolutely love that touch in a candle. It's beautiful. Now this one is described as like a carrot cake scent, which makes total sense considering it's Rabbit. Um, the color scheme is totally on point with that and this just has a whole bunch of spices in it which definitely is like cooking, baking, that carrot cake. So I definitely love that one. This might be one of the first ones that I burn just because it is like I said finally fall. I'm so excited. The next one is, and take a bite. This is inspired by Snow White and of course that famous apple. Another really great fall scent. And just a look at how beautiful. And this um, is described as like fresh apples and berries, which again, totally spot on. Another good, clean, like fall scent. Just wonderful. I don't know. Maybe I'll burn this one first. This one smells really good too. Um, Let's do this one. Change your fate. I was really excited about this one. This one is a like more musky, um, like pine birch scent. So definitely I would say probably more leaning towards Christmas because of that pine, but it's still really good. I typically like scents like that, mm. but look how beautiful. So of course this is inspired by Brave or Merida, um, but I just think that is so beautiful. I'm probably going to say that of course with everyone, so disregard me, but I just think they're so pretty. It's like you don't want to burn these, but you want to smell them. So it's like, what do you do? I don't know. Well, of course I'm going to burn them, but that's beside the point. Um, Let's do Tavern Cinnamon Roll. My second favorite is all baked good scents. So. Okay, this one kind of smells like the carrot cake one. Definitely got the baked good cinnamon um like spices this one says that it is described as ice cinnamon bun for the scent and it's inspired by beauty and the beast but it also said villain so like villain beauty and the beast i'm not sure who they're exactly like trying to lean this towards i don't know if it's supposed to be gaston or if it's supposed to be the beast in his beast form I don't know if you guys have ever read or have seen the Disney like villain like books the chapter books they're really good I definitely recommend them I read them all and actually Sadie is wanting to read them but um they're really good and Beast is actually part of that villain series um just kind of going back to like 
why he was the beast, turned into the beast, and all of that stuff. So I guess technically he could be considered a villain in that part of his life. So I don't know who this is aimed towards, but it's still a really nice scent. All right, next I guess we will do... Oh, I'm so excited. This one is a Cinderella whoa, themed candle. So of course I had to get her. This is, so this is love. Now, this is not a scent I would typically like personally go for. This was an impulse buy because it's Cinderella, of course. Um, but it, oh, it's so beautiful. <sighs> totally nailed like with the silver glitter in there. Beautiful. And this is like, it says like plumer plumeria or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, honeysuckle or honeysuckle. Lilac. I don't know. I'm not crazy about the scent. I might like it when it like when I burn it, but I'm not sure. It's, it's nice, but not my cup of tea, but again, even if I don't burn this one, I will definitely keep it and put it on like my shelf or something because I had to buy it. Um, the next two or the last two, I should say, are from Princess and the Frog or Miss Tiana. Uh, she is my second favorite princess, so I had to get these as well. But this one is Manketten Beignets. So another, you know, baking goody smell. And this one just smells like sweet, you know, like, well, kind of like a beignet, powdered sugar, then those spices, all that good stuff. So pretty again. I'm curious on how the glitter will go if it like stays in place and whatnot. Oh, I'm so excited. So there's that one. And last but not least is almost there again, Miss Tiana. This one though is scented as banana bread, which I love me some banana bread. I, I've been dying to make some. Yeah. Mm. so delicious I love that pop of green in there for her mm. amazing so beautiful again just beautiful so I cannot wait to try these and I just I think they are so precious and I think that if you have a Disney lover or if you're a Disney lover these are so cute and perfect little gifts but oh, I'm so excited to start burning them. I I think I'm going to start with Snow White and yeah, just start smelling the Disney magic in here this fall. But that is all for today's video. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.